It is the diversity of cricket that is so precious. Different formats, different nationalities, different shapes and sizes of people playing. As a sport, we can and should be making every effort to diversify even further, both in terms of new markets, but perhaps even more importantly, in my mind, in relation to women and girls. Cricket has always been known as the gentleman's game, but that is a label we should attach to the character of the game only, not the gender of those playing the game. It is a game for all. For too long we have ignored the potential of women in cricket and effectively 50% of the population. But that is changing significantly and will continue to do so. Last summer the ICC Women's World Cup, and particularly the final here at Lords, showed us the huge opportunity the sport has to attract more women and girls not only as uh, players and fans, but also ensuring the sport is a place where women want, women want to work, as administrators, commentators, or journalists. We must remove any barriers to entry based on gender. Last year, the decision was taken to televise all 31 matches of the, of the Women's World Cup. We worked with broadcasters to incentivize them to carry all the matches, and their support saw the event reach 180 million unique viewers worldwide. This was a 265% increase in comparison to the same event in 2013. We now need to supply the demand, ensuring there is access to compelling and competitive cricket. By doing that, we can build up a market where the women's game becomes self-sustainable because sponsors and broadcasters realize the commercial benefits. We need to do everything possible to make cricket a choice for young girls around the world. We need to get the basics right. Even something as simple as ensuring they have their own changing facilities will make a huge difference.